Hello, everyone. My name is Xu Bo Liu from the CVSSP at University of Surrey. Today, I'm very glad to present our recent work, CR4SA, a contrastive loss for audio captioning. And the audio captioning is the task of using natural language to describe the content of an audio clip. And it is a cross-model translation task, which is a combination of the natural language processing, audio processing, and machine learning. And for example, um, a text description can be uh, loud and the bombing car horns cries out across the area. And the state of the art framework of the audio captioning system is based on the encoder, decoder, and the sequence to sequence architecture. And specifically, the CNN encoder will encode the audio clips into a latent representation and align with its corresponding text descriptions. And a transformer decoder is used to generate it captions. And, and this architecture is also using our DK's challenge system, so which is the which ranked as the third place and is the best system without using model samples. And here is a link, GitHub link of our challenge systems. And training of an audio captioning system often encounters the problem of the data scarcity, so which may lead to the inaccurate representation and audio text alignment because the training data is not sufficient to learn these difficult cross-model translation tasks. So for example, the Colosso is a popular audio captioning data set and was used for the decades challenge. However, it only contains the 6,974 audio clips and five captions per clip. And to address this issue, the transfer learning techniques has been used in the task six of the DK's challenge 2021, and which offers substantially improved performance. However, transfer learning relies heavily on the large scale external data setting auto captioning. And in the real world scenarios, we don't have such a large amount of external data sets for training. And the contrastive learning is a self-supervised approach that helps models to learn the high quality representation inspired by the recent success of the contrastive learning in the computerization and natural language processing. In this work, we propose a novel encoder decoder framework called the CR4SA, a contrastive loss for audio captioning. And specifically, we construct the mismatched audio text pairs as the negative samples. So our main idea is to use the contrastive learning to pour the audio text representation of the peer data together. And we are simultaneously pushing apart the clusters of unpaired, negative, unmatched data. And the contrastive learning objective is a design to maximize the difference between the representation of the matched audio caption pair derived from the negative pairs. So specifically, we use the last vector of the audio text representation in the transformer decoder part. Uh, the reason of the choosing the last vector because uh, it can attend all the previously text tokens and also it fills with the audio information. So, then we fit this vector into a, into a classifier to discriminate whether or not the audio and the caption data is matched. So in this, this way, by contrasting the negative samples and the, the matched samples, the quality of the latent representation and the alignment between audio and text can be improved without introducing large external data where they train with the limited data. The training loss of the CR4SA is a combination of the conventional cross entropy loss and the contrastive loss. And for the meshed data, we use the both contrastive loss and cross entropy loss. And as for the negative pair data, we only use the contrastive loss because in this situation, the cross entropy loss is, doesn't have any meaning here. And we conduct experiments on the closer data set. So the baseline system is similar to the DK's 2021 system, which used the transfer learning from the external data sets audio caps and using, also using the reverse learning. And our motivation is, use the, is, is to mitigate the data scarcity problem of the audio captioning without introducing external data sets. So we train the baseline without using, reinforce, uh, without using transfer learning from external data sets. 
And also the previous studies has proved that although the reinforced learning techniques can optimize the neural network towards a non-differentable matrix, but they can, but they generated incorrect and incomplete captions. Thus, the reinforced learning is also removed in the baseline systems. And as for the evaluation metrics, we use the, those same as for the DK's challenge classics and including the machine translation metrics, blue rod, mentor, and the image captioning metrics, cedar, spice, and spider. And we can see from the results, the improvement of the machine translation metrics and the image captioning metrics shows the effectiveness of, say, for ASA, we are trained with a limited data. And that's the conclusion of this work. So in this work, we demonstrated the first attempt using the contrastive learning for the audio captioning, and we proposed a novel framework called the CR4ASA, a contrastive loss for audio captioning. And the CR4ASA can mitigate the data scarcity problem for audio captioning without introducing large scale external data. And also the CR4ASA can improve the performance of a baseline that is already strong via training with limited data. And here's the end of my presentation and many thanks for the listening.